Hi, my name is Stephen Jeremont. I'm a photographer with a studio here at Artworks, Galleries and Studios on the south side of Richmond. I specialize in images of the desert southwest, and I invite you to come down and uh, see my work, uh, especially during Fourth Friday's celebrations at Artworks from 7 to 10 in the evening. Uh, you can find me at the gallery. Um, I'd like to talk to you today about a couple of images that I have in my gallery. Uh, one of them is named uh, Sunrise in Larkin's Garden and was shot in uh, overlooking Dead Horse Point State Park in southeastern Utah. Uh, the story behind this is um, the observation platform at Dead Horse Point um, is where most images of Dead Horse are, are taken from. Um, I arrived in the uh, pre-dawn gloom and noticed a very interesting pine tree on a ledge about 20 feet below the observation platform uh, and made it a mission to find out how to get down to that ledge so I could use that pine tree as the subject of my image. Uh, so in the uh, pre-dawn gloom, I found uh, a way of getting down there by climbing down about 10 feet uh, over some very large boulders onto this ledge and framed up the image and waited for sunrise to appear. Now just outside the frame of this image is a large boulder and I found carved into that boulder the words Larkin's Garden. And it's a, sun, it's a, uh, a sandstone boulder so um, the lettering was rather weathered and given that it's the desert southwest you can't really tell if that lettering has been there for a hundred years or if it was carved yesterday. Mm -hmm. It was a very interesting image and when I came back east and, and posted this image on my blog um, I mentioned the, the carving in the rock and had a picture of it and some months later uh, a gentleman from Utah wrote a reply to my blog posting and told me the background story uh, of the name Larkin's Garden. It turns out that there was a high school student in the mid-90s um, whose middle name was Larkin. His full name was, I believe, Chris Larkin Handcuff, who had a band. Um, this Chris also happened to have cancer. And in his senior year of high school, his cancer progressed to a point where he was not going to last very long and uh, the Make-A-Wish Foundation approached him. Uh, his wish was for his band called The Garden to have studio time to record an album. Unfortunately, Chris passed before the studio could be acquired, uh, but his bandmates pressed on and recorded the uh, album, the CD, um, and they changed the band name in Chris's honor to Larkin's Garden. Several of Chris's friends were 4x4 enthusiasts who frequented the area around Moab, Utah. And the gentleman who posted the reply to my blog theorizes that they carved the lettering in Chris's name on that boulder. So um, I find it uh, uh, interesting that my image uh, has become unintentionally a memorial to this uh, Chris handcuff. Uh, and I like the thought of that. It's a beautiful image and it, he sounds like a wonderful young man um, who passed away far sooner than he should.